Daniel Salters is one of the all-time great catchers in DBU baseball history. He played at DBU from 2014, 2015. He was a first-team all-conference selection. And Daniel, before we get into the baseball side of your story, uh, you, do, you have a unique story in it, growing up uh, in a missionary family in Kenya and Tanzania. Give us some insight as to just the childhood that you had growing up. Right. Yeah, I was there from the ages of 5 to 13-ish, so definitely a different childhood than a lot of people probably had, you know. Um, my dad was a pilot, so he flew people and supplies all over East Africa. And kind of for me, looking back, it's crazy thinking about, you know, growing up in Africa. But when I was there, I, you know, I was focused a lot on just playing soccer, hanging out with friends, you know, always loved going on game drives and stuff. But I always kind of had that strong desire to play baseball. That's why when we moved back in 2006, yeah, 2006, um, I was really excited to finally get, you know, get a chance at playing baseball. So, yeah, but definitely, definitely a little different childhood than a lot of people have. Yeah, in terms of baseball, you, you start a little bit later. In fact, I think around the age of 13 or so before you truly start playing competitively. At what point right. did you feel like, hey, this is something that I got a chance to, to do and right. do at a high level? Right. Um, I would say probably my junior going into my senior year. It was interesting because I, I started so late. I think a lot of things didn't really come necessarily naturally to me. You know, some kids just swing a bat from the ages of five to whatever. So they just kind of always have their swing. Well, I like battled through a lot of stuff, just trying to get comfortable in the box and, and you know, different stuff. So probably not until my junior, senior year. I, I had played football for a year um, when I was in high school, my sophomore year, and I just decided, you know what, I want to play baseball. I got to focus on this because I was, I was not very good. So my dad would actually pick me up at lunch and we would go down um, to the to this uh, batting cage down down in the town we were at, and just go take BP, pack a lunch, go down there. Because I was I was pretty far behind the other kids just in terms of a lot of stuff. So finally, though, it clicked. I, you know, my freshman to junior year, I never hit very well. I could never really drive the ball or anything. Finally, my senior year, it kind of clicked, and uh, that's when I felt like I could, you know play college and then have a dream of playing pro ball so yeah you do just that one year at the junior college level and you're at dbu in 2014 uh, looking back at numbers i believe you, you led the team in doubles that year second in rbis and you end up being a 22nd round pick of the washington nationals so now it's decision time right. for you uh, take us back through that what went into that decision what were the right. factors that led you back to dbu as a junior right yeah you know it was a it was a, definitely a cool opportunity um but I think I always really wanted to, just looking back at the team we had and the team we had coming into 2015, I really wanted to be a part of that team. And, you know, a lot of my best friends were on the team and the pitching staff we were going to have. I knew I was going to grow as a catcher. And I knew that if I signed, I would come back in the off season, be working out and seeing all the guys out there and be like, why in the world did I sign to go play? You know, I wish I was out here. So that really played into my decision. Um, you know, I'm obviously really glad that I came back because, uh, in that, I met my wife, you know, in the spring of 2015. And so there would obviously be a lot of lot of uh, changes that would have happened if I would have chosen to, to leave. But, yeah, the main, main decision factors were just kind of the guys on the team and the team that we were going to have. Um, so, yeah. You were right on. I mean, what a season it was in 2015. One of the most memorable in DBU baseball history. Finished the regular season, top RPI in the country. You host a regional right yeah. here at this ballpark. There's so many great memories from that season. Is there one that's the most lasting for, for you? You know, um, I would honestly probably say just getting to host the host the regional. I probably my my favorite game in there was the Texas game where Corey threw a CG. That was really awesome. But you know, that whole year was just really special. We had so many. I I just love looking back at the guys that we had. You know, even the top guys we had coming out of our bullpen, like our top three bullpen guys went in the third, fourth, and fifth round as bullpen arms. You know, and the starters we had were unbelievable. So. But getting to host a regional, having that atmosphere, that experience, that was that was obviously great. And then just the continued, you know, the continued friendships that I made with guys and how we've all stayed in touch. I mean, we're all in a fantasy football league right now, you know. So, well, on top of all that, you, you improved your draft status. Not only do you have an incredible season as a team, but also you go from a 22nd round pick all the way to the 13th round of the Cleveland Indians, jumping nine rounds that season. Um, Take us back through, through draft day and then really more so just the journey of a minor leaguer. What does that look like as you climbed right. your way all the way through short A and eventually the triple A level? Right, right. Yeah, it was, you know, kind of having been drafted the year before, I was really, I think, and I started the year, I started the year in a big slump, but I was really anxious about like, okay, you know, I got drafted here. I want to get drafted here this year. And so I put a little pressure on myself. But leading up to draft day, I kind of was just like, you know what, you know, 
whatever is going to happen, happen. And so it was an awesome, awesome opportunity. Getting drafted by the Indians, um, obviously played from 15 until I retired this past this past spring. Um, really cool opportunity. I felt like I grew a lot as a person, as a player, made a lot of really cool friendships. Um, but, you know, time kind of just came in my life where I was ready to step away from the game and, and ready to move on to to other things in life, but I'm really grateful for the opportunity to have, you know, it's an opportunity a lot of people, you know, it's an opportunity I dreamed about having, a lot of people wanted to have um, and would love to have had, so it was a, definitely a big blessing. Yeah, looking back on your playing career, uh, when you think back on those times here and you reflected, what does DBU baseball or what has it meant to you both right. on the field and off? Right. You know, I would just say that I think DBU baseball has been super life-changing in my life and probably a lot of guys lives that have come through here just in regards to first of all the coaching staff we have it's pretty cool to see coaches that really love the Lord and are more interested in than things that aren't just baseball related you know they want to see you grow up and become the man God's called you to be so you know that changed my life a lot in that and obviously the, I've made a lot of my best friends here at this university, it's interesting. I feel like we're all just a big, you know, brotherhood. You see, you won't see you guys for a year, and you'll see them that you play with them. And I know it's probably the same in a lot of teams, but I think we kind of all have a common bond in in Christ with a lot of these guys, you know. So, you know, it's pretty cool to see how the Lord's worked in my life and a lot of guys' lives, and kind of brought them. You know, I'm back here. I'm working at DVU now, but um, just just it, you know, the university and the baseball program has had a huge impact on my life, and I'm really grateful for it and I, and I look at a lot of the guys that are here now and are like man you know I really enjoy where you're at because it obviously it, it flies by so well, Daniel Salters has left his mark here at DBU as one of the all-time great players in DBU baseball history and he's been our guest on today's coming home